For Padawans within the Jedi Order, the process of constructing their first lightsaber officially bound them together with the Order. It was an act that not only demonstrated the Padawan's loyalty to the Order, used by the Jedi for thousands of years, but it gave the young Jedi an opportunity to create a weapon that they could claim as their own. Although practically everything a Padawan did in their early years was outside of their control and defined by the uniformity within Jedi practices, the construction of their lightsaber was a personal process that allowed for originality. Although many Padawans would construct standard lightsabers, there were rare cases where they would adopt an untraditional design, or come to adopt a unique variant after gaining experience with the weapon first. When it came to these rare variants, there was perhaps none more unique and rare than the dual phase lightsaber, where the lightsaber's blade was made far longer than the length of the traditional lightsaber. In this video expose, I will explain why some Jedi and Sith used lightsabers that were twice as long as standard lightsabers. A dual phase lightsaber was an unconventional and special variant that allowed the blade of the weapon to become more than double the length of a standard lightsaber. Whereas the vast majority of blades were roughly 1.3 to 1.5 meters in length, a dual phase lightsaber would extend up to 3 meters in length. This was achieved through a unique combination of focusing crystals within the lightsaber's hilt, whereby multiple crystals were placed into alignment. Demonstrating just how unparalleled the design of the dual phase lightsaber was, users of this variant could carry different types of crystals within the hilt, allowing the user to alternate between them through a simple twist of the hilt. While all standard lightsabers contained a manual adjustment knob upon the weapon's hilt that could reduce the length of the blade, the dual phase lightsaber could be ignited instantly, wherein the blade would reach its maximum magnitude without the need to make any adjustments during a duel. Coupled with the ability to adjust the width of the blade, these lightsabers were very successful in catching inexperienced lightsaber duelists off guard, and even surprising those with more experience. Within the Jedi Order's guidebook that was to be used by Jedi initiates as a way to learn the teachings of the Order and obtain guidance, it was this element of surprise that was focused upon by Jedi Master and Battlemaster Scarch Vonk. Within the third edition of the guidebook, published roughly 100 years before the Clone Wars, although the Jedi Battlemaster found that having a blade that was twice as long as a normal sized blade wasn't ideal, she did recognize that it provided a great advantage to its users for surprise attacks. However, outside of the element of surprise, she guided Jedi initiates away from the dual phase variant design, defining it as impractical and altogether ineffective. The words of Jedi Master Vonk were a product of her era, demonstrating the rarity of the design in the years following the Order's belief that the Sith had been completely destroyed at the Seventh Battle of Rusin, roughly 1000 years before the Clone Wars. Dual phase lightsabers found far greater use beginning in the era of the Jedi Civil War, 4000 years before the Clone Wars, and were adopted to a far greater extent in the years between the Civil War and the final conflict of the new Sith Wars at Rusin. However, given that the Jedi engaged in lightsaber duels less frequently with the believed annihilation of the Sith, and dedicated themselves to a less militarist direction with the passing of the Rusin Reformations, focusing on solving disputes without using weapons, dual phase lightsabers went out of style, making them a completely antiquated design by the time of the Clone Wars. That said, the variant was adopted by the Force-sensitive human Corrin Horn in the years following the Battle of Endor, using the well-recognized advantage of the weapon to completely catch a young Yuuzhan Vong warrior unprepared to deal with a blade twice the standard length, and killing him instantly. So there we have it, the dual phase lightsabers that could extend up to double the length of a traditional lightsaber. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Kieran Halcyon...